Hi, my name is Adam Nolte and I'm going to give you my thoughts today on this little beauty which is the Asigo Max UV. Um, I received this about six months ago now so I've been throwing everything I have at it. Um, I've produced everything from temporaries, uh, a lot of guides, a lot of guides um, for implants and also a lot of models which I've been using for wax ups and smile designs and everything I've thrown at it is pretty beautifully. But the main review I want to give today is realistically to tell you about all the other features that it has, uh, which I like. Uh, I started with 3D printing going back uh, a few years ago with um, the Cell Robox printer, a little filament printer that uh, was built from here in the UK. Uh, great little printer, did loads of lovely things with it, uh, but things have evolved massively. And over the last few years I've had um, seven and possibly eight different printers, and each of those different prints have had their own niggles, things that drive you mad over time, where things take a bit longer, um, or just something really simple that you just think, I wish they would have done that differently. And I haven't yet found that with this. Um, maybe I will in the future, I don't know, but at the time being, um, everything about it's really nice. And it's really nice because it just works. It works really well um, out of the box. So uh, when you get it out of the box and you know you first calibrate and everything, uh, it's just so nice and easy to just slot this, leave it loose, and it auto calibrates uh, the um, this bit here. And then when I'm taking the print bed off and swapping things over to change resins, so nice and easy to just slot that on and off, pop it straight back on, and away I go. I can print again with a different resin. Um, speaking of resins, again, uh, really nice the fact that it's completely open. Um, and it's actually the first printer that I've had that I've been able to do that with where I haven't had to use a manufacturer's resin or something that's specifically calibrated for it. Um, I've got a ton of different resins which we, which we use here from Dental Model and uh, things like that where uh, the different manufacturers of the resins help a seeker by giving parameters or a seeker themselves develop parameters that mean that those um, printer resins are perfectly calibrated with temperature, um, with how fast everything moves when the when it's printing. Uh, 3D prints isn't quite as simple as just plugging something into the software and clicking go. Uh, it might be the case in a couple of the more well-known printers, but um, that's because they use the manufacturer's printers. When you're using a resin which is uh, an open resin, so just a third-party resin, um, there'll be slight differences in the way that it cures uh, and how much uh, light intensity it has to activate the, the resin polymers. So realistically, things need to be slightly different in the peel action, the uh, speed of uh, return, all of those little factors can make a big difference to not only the print quality, uh, how accurate it is, but also how reliable your printer prints. And it means that the printer at the end, um, if it's calibrated well, but not only that, but the software is designed well to work with different resins, then it means that you, on a regular basis, get a good uh, quality print and that means everything because speed is one thing but speed doesn't mean anything if it only works 70-80% of the time. If some of that time you spend trying to redo the print or figuring out why something didn't print then um, it's a bit of a pain. So one of the other things that's nice with this is when I go to print I can set everything in the software from uh, sitting through the, um, the print platform here uh, I can move it around, um, rotate anything in any direction or set up uh, an extra layer that I can print more models up and build it up. But uh, whatever I do, when I set it to print, uh, it'll always give me little warnings about things and send it through. But you see like this here where it's covering the whole thing less than 10 minutes, I can continue. But this is one of the best things which sometimes may take longer, but actually I found that because of the auto detection that it has, uh, it actually doesn't ever really take that amount of time, or very rarely does. So this separation detect and the anti-allies in here it has, um, it gives me a lot better finish in the model, especially for wax ups and 3D smile design, but also the separation detect, a very, very, very rare, I think maybe a one out of 100 uh, failures, which is so impressive compared to uh, other printers that I've used. I mean, we had one which was a DLP printer which was claimed to be ultra fast, and I think it might have failed 89% of the time, which was a disaster. So it doesn't matter if it's faster. But it's also a very fast printer, and um, the nice thing about that is that I can, because it's open, 
select however I want that printer to print thickness wise, resolution wise, anything like that. Again, it's fully open and fully customizable. So um, I have that ability to print faster in lower resolution if I want to, or um, standard resolution or really high resolution. And it, even then it's still fast. So um, really nice printer, very happy with it. And uh, I'm uh, looking forward to pushing it even more over the coming months. So um, if you get a chance, IDS, Go and have a look at it, um, come to the stand and uh, go and have a play and uh, you won't be disappointed. Okay, thank you.